It appears some uncles have been dipping their hands into the family trust, and the president has distanced himself from any wrongdoing, even though he was the minister under whom the deal that led to the establishment of the SME Bank was signed. He addressed this at the media briefing as well. When the bank was established, it was under the guidance of the Bank of Namibia. They regulate, they brief us as they go on. I have been briefed, and when they were taking this action, they came to see me, and I said, look, I was in charge of the bank when I was a minister of trade. I'm no longer. It was taken over, that was taken over by Comrade Kale. When he was a minister of trade, he was in charge. He left, now is Comrade Kachideko. So instead of coming to see me alone, it would be good that I bring those people and chairperson. So we met. They told us about the dire situation of the bank, especially the money which is missing. And uh, we gave a lot of suggestions what we could do, maybe give us a chance to approach our counterparts to see and so on. But after we left, following day, we were just told that they are going to take action. That's their power, that's their right. Of course, the cabinet was in, uh, informed what was going on. I chair the cabinet, and I cannot come here and talk about what I think cabinet doesn't know. As for my money, none of your business, I could easily say. Because I don't go and ask your bank balance. You see what I said earlier in the beginning? How you are open up. Can you imagine if I had, I'm, I was fixing my house and I got 10 million. Can you imagine if I had that 10 million worth SME bank, which I could have done? Can you imagine the uh, anti-corruption fighters, even if it is a loan, like Berman Brock, they have been condemned. Patriotic Namibians who went to it, get a loan, condemned for having loan with the bank, existing bank, operating bank. So can you imagine if Hake Gosling came up, had that loan? from SME Bank instead of from Net Bank. Automatically, I was corrupt. That's how you behave. It could have been a loan, like a other loan. It's a deposit, public deposit, like any other deposit. You are questioning it. Now, can you imagine if I had $10 million loan, loan from that bank? What left many incensed was the fact that the president apparently questioned why George Simata and Franz Kapofi should be held accountable for the mess at the SME Bank, where they were board members, whilst the Bank of Namibia should have picked up on any irregularities timelessly. Here's what the people had to say. Devet posted, You cannot pardon fraudsters' actions by blaming another dysfunctional institution. Rather investigate why the Bank of Namibia turned a blind eye? Mm, let's do that. John posted, Fiduciary duties. Ever heard of those? When you collect those director's fees, you also assume those fiduciary duties. But all of this makes me think that AG is covering their <clears throat> for a good reason, his own. Hmm. And Gibson wrote, I knew he'd be their shield. We are doomed. Looters till death. Shem. We asked the Institute of Public Policy Research's Max Wayland to share his opinion on the state of the Namibian House. Well, first of all, it's good that the president takes the time to inform the media and thereby the public about what is going on and just gives the feedback from the presidency on, on certain matters. I do think it would be nice to have even more of these press conferences, um, to have them at more regular intervals so that there's more opportunities to ask the president questions directly. One thing that I think is very interesting is that everyone um, has made a lot of the fact that the president has defended his um, uh, employees, in a sense, um, Minister Kapofi and Secretary to Cabinet, um, Mr. Simata. What for me is a bigger question um, and a bigger issue is that I think in Namibia we place too much focus on the president. We always want the president as a person to fix everything. We should question in this instance also um, the role of other institutions. 
Why have other institutions not stepped in and done their part in kind of um, seeking accountability and, and seeking consequences for what happened at the SME Bank? Because, of course, we don't know exactly what happened in the first place. And this is where, for example, Parliament could come in.